House of Dragon episode five was, yeah, that was kind of crazy. In like, in like the last 10 minutes, bro, my mind flipped on itself. It wasn't as bad as the Red Wedding. Nothing will ever be bad as that. Like that was like, that was like genocide at the highest form. However, this is, this is just like crazy. This episode five wedding or royal feast or whatever it was, was crazy for no reason. Like there was, it was some unnecessary stuff going on there and it didn't need to happen. However, let's check out the episode six preview for next week. And we'll talk about episode five after man. Let's see what we got here, bro. We should address the latest developments in the Stepstones, my lords. Where, I wonder, is our Prince Damon? It was a decade ago, and he has since left the region undefended. We have left it undefended. My queen? What are children but a weakness? Through them, you imagine you will persist forever. You will be our king. We are the blood of old Valeria. But for them, you surrender what you should not. Her father, compromised by the acts of her son. To have one child like that is a mistake. To have three is an insult. People have eyes. The consequences of an allegation like the one you two had would be dire. Dracardis! uh honestly i feel like i'm watching a whole nother show right now bro like i honestly don't even know what i just saw like for real like like first off i thought king viserys was dead i thought he died this episode like i really like after him falling down after they got married like after it was official i thought he died so he's still alive looks like looks like the oldest elderly man you've ever sickly dude you've ever seen before and it looked like Damon and Lanera started having babies. I don't know. I saw new kids. I saw some some white dude with the bleachish blonde hair talking about you will be king. Uh, this trailer has me confused. Like, I think I just need to watch the episode, man, because I, I don't know what they're talking about right here, man. Like, I really don't. But on to episode five, stuff I do know what the hell happened to. The first thing I got to say is, bro, that Lord Laris, who, I think that's his name, who was talking to Allison, like in that garden. Yo, if that nigga wasn't the snakiest of snakes, bro, I don't know what is, dude. All he was missing was a little, like, come on, bro. My boy is approaching the like, Alice in a cane, like, oh, you didn't hear? Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, Lady Renera, you know, she got a little tea the other night, man. I don't know the grand make sure. I look, I don't know. You tell me. You tell me. Or I don't know. Like that dude is a snake, bro. Nothing but. And of course, after the snakery. My boy, Sir Kristen Cole, decides to get emotional. He doesn't want to be Rhaenyra's whore, which I, honestly, I mean, I don't even see what the... I mean, I feel like his pride would be hurt, but I don't even think his pride was hurt. It was more the fact that he gave up his virginity to her. That's what he seemed to have the bigger issue with. He was like, yo, I thought if we got married, it'd save my virginity. But no, you just used me like a whore and dumped me. Like, what? my boy, are you... Are you good, dog? Like, why are you... Like, if anything, your pride should be hurt, but this dude was stuck on his virginity and he was stuck on it so bad He coughed up his guts to the queen What the fuck? Bro, how are you just gonna throw Renair under the bus like that? Like, damn, one boy? He threw her, he threw her, but well really both of them under the bus, but still like, bro He was like, yo, just give me a merciful death, that's all I'm asking for Like, this nigga was on a suicide mission which leads to the fact of what he did to the wedding. I still don't have a good reason why he beat the fuck out of this dude, man. And literally beat the fuck out of this dude. This dude has no life left, man. His, his side of the face was looking like, bro, like a mush. Like I've never seen someone's face beaten that badly. Like I still don't understand why though. Like. I guess he felt threatened by whoever Le Lenore, I think Lenore, I think Le whoever Lenore, I don't know what his name is. I don't know, whoever Rhaenyra's hus future husband's lover is like, like he, I guess he felt threatened by him, but he didn't really say anything like too crazy. He just said like, let's keep their secrets secret. Like if, if that was me and he told me that, I'd be like, bet bro, we, bro, we got it. You got yours, I got mine. 
we cool, bro. There's none, none more to discuss. I got you. But this dude, Kristen, I, it had to be because he was on a suicide mission. It really did. I mean, what other sense does it make? Like, he was just like, fuck it. I got nothing else to live for. Renair is leaving me. I lost my virginity. I got taken. I feel like a whore. Fuck, I'm gonna just beat the hell out of this dude and kill myself by a tree. Like, huh? Like, that don't make any sense, bro. How do you go from zero to 100 so quick? I, like, I don't know, man, but... Bro, what is his name? It's gonna bug me, man. Look, look. Okay, yeah, yeah, Lenor, right? Lenor, yeah, yeah, Lenor. Okay, I thought I was right. Anyway, so, like, when him and Renera are, like, walking down the coast, she was over talking about, like, yo, I prefer roast duck. I know you prefer goose. I was, like, <laughs> I guess it was stupid of me to think, but I thought she, she was referring to the fact that Lenor probably likes, like, black girls or, like, brown girls, and Renera's white. That's what I... That's what I assumed he was talk. She was talking about at first, but then it cuts to his dad and mom, and she's like, "You know how our son is," and old, and old boy's like, "Nah, he'll grow out of it." I'm like, "Oh, oh, he preferred Le Lenore prefers to get on all fours. That's cool. I just that's not the that's not what I got from Lenore and Renera's conversation. I thought they were talking about like color. Like I really, really did like." She was like, I know no matter how much you, you know, you might, you might not like white girls. I know I'll never change it. I thought, that's what I thought, man. That's what I thought. Overall, very good episode. Like really, really good. I don't think I missed too much. Bro, I don't understand what's wrong with the king. Like, I really don't. Does he, I've been saying, it. does he need a tetanus shot? Like, bro, my boy, I expected him to be dead right now. And he's still alive in episode six. Very, very sickly. I don't know how, but also with episode six coming up, we're saying goodbye to baby Renair. Oh, that's what I was going to talk about. Renair and Damon, bro. Renair, you really want your uncle like that? She really wants a piece of her uncle, bro. <laughs> she really wants that uncle's dick, man. Like, It's kind of confusing of why she likes him so much. I, I get they have like a bond, but I just don't, I really, really don't understand. Like I really don't understand, but I guess that's like a Targaryen thing. However, I do love whenever they talk in uh, High Valyrian, like it's just cool, man. It's like, hold on, everyone else got this language, this English language, let's talk in High Valyrian. Let's have a private conversation in front of thousands of ears that have no idea what we're talking about. That's just cool to me. Like that's just, I guess that's just with any language, like any language. But yeah, back on episode five, really good episode really enjoyed it like i was saying before this is the last time we're seeing baby renera and baby allison and i think lenore and his sister are also getting adult actors but hey i'm gonna miss them they well renera really was the standout she really did the like a fucking fantastic job of making me like the character of renera i think millie alcock or something like that she made me do a she hey bro she made me love renera like she really did